Puerto Rico is facing renewed danger in the wake of Hurricane Maria as the Guajataca Dam fails under the strain of weather damage and heavy rainfall. The government has called the situation extremely dangerous, and the struggling dam is reportedly causing flash flooding in the island's northwest corner. Two northwestern municipalities, home to some 70,000 people, are being evacuated as quickly as they can because a crack has been found in the dam, the National Weather Service said. Cristina Villalba, who works for the island's emergency management agency, said officials believe the dam is certain to give way. It could be tonight, it could be tomorrow, it could be in the next few days, but it's very likely it will be soon, she said. Power outage worried residents are also wondering how they will cope, amid fears that power across the island could be out for weeks or even months. Luis Gutierrez, a Democratic representative of Puerto Rican descent, said public health and infrastructure has been literally blown away by Hurricane Maria, which was a Category 4 storm, when it hit on Thursday. He pointed out that existing problems in the U.S. territory including a recession, outmigration and a lack of investment has exaggerated the scope of the damage. My letter to President Trump asking him to send aid to Puerto Rico as quickly as humanly possible https colvjs 3 uwcbk Maria pic twitter comjyg y 5 w 11 Luis V. Gutierrez and Rep. Gutierrez September 20, 2017 Recovery Felix Delgado, mayor of the northern coastal city of Catano, said months and months and months and months are going to pass before we can recover from this. Some residents said they were considering leaving Puerto Rico. But Israel Molina, 68, said he would not leave his shop, which he has owned, since buying and rebuilding it after Hurricane Hugo hit in 1989. Across the Caribbean, 27 people have lost their lives because of Hurricane Maria, including at least six people in Puerto Rico. Hurricane Irma Less than two weeks ago, Hurricane Irma brought extensive devastation, with winds of 185 miles per hour destroying buildings, flooring power lines and killing at least 84 people across the Caribbean and parts of the U.S. Puerto Rico's 3.4 million residents were forced to traverse a maze of uprooted trees, destroyed scraps of buildings and blown away cars on Friday. With wreckage blocking streets and highways, police cars used loudspeakers to warn people to respect a 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew. Assessing the gravity of the disaster from the shelter of a nearby family's house after her own roof collapsed, resident Alana Yenda said she had six barrels of water enough to last her and 11 relatives for one month. This is an absolute crisis, she said.